Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this particular video, we are going to understand how to revise concepts and algorithm before data science interviews. Now, this is one of the most important questions that was asked by many of my subscribers. And uh, recently, there were many people who had made a successful transition towards data science. And when I spoke to them, you know, they really wanted me to make this particular video. Uh, and they said that this video will definitely be helpful for everyone. Because I'll tell you why I'm actually making this particular video, guys, because I should understand that uh, I've spoken to some of the people, you know, when they are learning data science, you know, or probably machine learning or deep learning. It usually takes somewhere around four to five months, you know, to at least get some good uh, hands on experience uh, or uh, to get some experience with respect to the algorithms uh, so that they will be able to remember. Some of the complaint that I have already uh, regularly seen from the people saying that Krish, when we are learning the future things, probably the uh, initial things that we have learned, we tend to forget it. OK, and because of that, we need to again revise those things. And this is fine when we are in the learning process. What about suppose we get an opportunity to attend an interviews and in that specific interviews, they may ask from anywhere, you know. So how do we need to quickly revise the concepts of machine learning algorithms or deep learning algorithms so that we are pretty much comfortable to attend a data science interview? So this was the thing that was asked. This was the same question also that were asked from the people who made successful career transition. And uh, they, they really wanted me to make this particular video. So let's proceed and let's understand how we can revise concepts and algorithm before data science interview. And guys, uh, it's not like I do not forget things, you know, I do not forget the algorithms. Even today, if I have to take a specific class on a specific machine learning algorithm, I have to revise that particular stuff. You know, I always do not remember all the concepts then and there. OK, yes, uh, I follow a strategy to remember some of the things efficiently. And that same strategy, I'll try to tell it to you in this particular video. OK, so let's begin and make sure, guys, uh, you follow this strategy. Uh, I am at least 80% sure that this strategy will work definitely for you uh, because I've seen for many of the people when I've, I've advised this strategy, they were able to remember a lot of things. So let's proceed. Now, first of all, you need to understand that uh, once you get a data science interview call, okay, uh, you have done really a very amazing thing because you have set up your resume, you have wrote end to end projects, everything. And finally, you're successful to get the data science interview. That is the most important thing. So you have at least done the 50% of your task. The remaining 50% of the task, I'm just going to explain it over here. So uh, whenever you get a data science interview call, at least take four to five days of time before the interview, not just like uh, tomorrow only you take my interview and all. Yes, if there is so much of urgency, companies will tell you that, okay, take the interview tomorrow only. Uh, Otherwise, most of the time what they do is that they set the interviews in the weekends. So at least take four to five days of time so that you'll be able to get some amount of time for preparation. So uh, once you get an interview call, the first point I'm saying that at least take four to five days. Okay, you just say then that after four to five days, you can set up the interview uh, because this will actually give you for the interview preparation time for the interview preparation. So this is the first thing that you have to take care of. Okay. <clears throat> Otherwise, uh, it will be very, very difficult because the strategy that I'm actually going to tell you, uh, uh, this will work. OK, at least take four to five days time uh, before the interview. Uh, this will actually help you for the interview preparation. Now, the second thing is that you need to focus on the job description also. So probably you got an interview call, you had applied your resume. Now, suppose after four to five days, you have told them, OK, let's go with the interview itself at a specific time. Then the second thing that you have to do, just go and see the job description. Job description, they'll be mentioning all the things that you really need to know. Just uh, read all the things. Suppose they say machine learning algorithms. Suppose they say deep learning algorithms. Suppose they say NLP techniques, right? So just keep a mind of that particular thing. Uh, focus on that particular job description itself uh, efficiently. I'll tell you why this will be very, very helpful. Then. Probably you have solved some end to end projects then then that is the reason why the people why the why the why the interviewer actually liked your resumes. So now go and check your end to end projects. OK, end to end projects are use cases that you have solved. OK, now in this particular end to end projects, you have to definitely make sure and guys, uh, this is uh, this this end to end projects. I know you may have implemented before the interview. 
one before the interview only when you are implementing currently suppose if you are implementing it just don't implement this by using one or one or two algorithms try to use try to use all the machine learning algorithms all the ml or first of all let's go with ml okay suppose i'll give you an example okay okay end to end projects or use cases you really have to solve and if, when you are solving try to use all the ml algorithms now suppose if i am solving a regression problem statement now in regression problem statement you have various process like uh, linear regression ridge lasso you have decision tree regressor random forest xg bush regressor and all the regression algorithms you basically have now when you are actually solving those kind of uh, algorithm so when you are solving this particular use case by using all those kind of algorithms also make sure that at the same time just try to go through that particular algorithms from where to go through it and all i have my playlist i'll show you that also all the link will be given in the description and i'll also go through all the playlist and all uh, to give you an idea so whenever you want to solve any machine learning project let it be a classification or regression problem statement make sure that you try to use all the machine learning algorithms in case of regression suppose i'll go ahead with five to six different different algorithms like linear lasso ridge decision tree regressor random forest xg bush regressor now by using all this then i'll get an idea of which algorithm is actually performing well and when i'm implementing it i'll have i'll have some idea about those kind of algorithms the next thing and uh, suppose if it is a classification also problem also guys please make sure that you uh, try to apply all the machine learning projects whichever you know and from those machine learning projects try to find out which is the best machine learning project how do you per uh, find out for that you have the knowledge of performance metrics okay before doing performance metrics also guys you also have to do hyperparameter tuning okay hyperparameter tuning okay then you have the performance metrics this two steps now whenever i talk about hyperparameter tuning and performance metrics performance metrics you need to know completely in depth okay like recall precision my like false positive true positive true negative why did you select that specific algorithm okay suppose you had a huge amount of outliers at that time what what kind of metrics you actually followed what did you do for that kind of algorithms itself right suppose uh, you had higher true positive uh, you had higher false positive what did you do in order to reduce the false positive and based on that you select the machine learning algorithms everything of performance metrics i have already discussed in my playlist guys performance metrics is must roc auc score everything with respect to performance metrics accuracy recall precision f score everything needs to be you need to know about performance metrics guys because based on that only you will decide which machine learning algorithm to use because just consider that here you are trying to use all the machine learning algorithm it is not like just by seeing the accuracy you will go with that particular machine learning algorithm instead by checking all the performance metrics and performing the hyperparameter tuning you will go ahead in deciding which machine learning algorithm you need to select for that particular thing now suppose if these two things are very very strong guys understand learning machine learning algorithm will be very very easy because machine learning algorithm is all about maths right and uh, to make your work easy i have already done that i have already created all the videos for all the machine learning algorithms if you really need to know the maths so in this particular way and this 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 steps needs to be performed before the interview itself you know uh, because once you get the interview call right this things all should be in your resume you need to know all these things and if you learn in this particular way you will be able to connect all the dots and you will be able to efficiently learn all the machine learning algorithms with this, all the best practices and all now here i have just written ml algo guys also try with deep learning algorithms let it be ann rnn cnn whatever things you have actually done classification problem vision use cases anything that you want but always focus on the performance metrics which is very very much important right so five steps what i have done remember this at least take four to five days of interview preparation this is after you have submitted your resume after you have got the call then you have to also focus on the job description end to end project use cases which you have done earlier make sure that you do it with the help of all the machine learning algorithms and you have all the results you you should be knowing why you are using this specific algorithm or why you have selected this particular algorithm for this specific use cases obviously because of performance metrics and hyperparameter tuning and internally you should also focus on two more things one is your feature engineering and feature selection like suppose i say that because this will be handy enough when you are actually telling to the interviewer 
Now, if you learn in this particular way, you'll be able to connect all the dots. You'll be able, able to efficiently revise everything in within four to five days. <coughs> yeah, you may be thinking, but Krish, where is the entire algorithms and all what you're talking? I'll, I'll just show you that specific playlist. Then in that probably when you have four to five days of times, guys, if you try to, and I know in probably you'll go with end to end projects. How many end to end projects? Two projects is more than sufficient. If you are able to learn efficiently in this particular man later on the complete life cycle of a data science project, you need to revise how to explain it in front of the recruiter. Okay. Now two more important things, uh, because in the first two days, I'm just writing that in the first two days, if you have materials, first two days, you'll be able to complete all these things. Considering I've given you the materials, I've given you the entire process where you have to learn and read it from. So first two days, trust me, first two to three days. Okay, let's take <coughs> two to three days. You will be able to complete all these things. You will be able to complete all these things, right? First two to three days. Now let's go with respect to the other days. Now we still have uh, two days, suppose fourth and the fifth day. In the sixth day, you start follow my follow my virtual mock interviews. I'll show you the playlist also guys. My virtual mock interviews, which I usually conduct in my YouTube channel. There you go and see how the candidates are answering the question, what kind of questions we have answered. Because there I may give you a specific use case, okay, and uh, tell you to basically solve it. And it may happen that in the interview, uh, you should uh, definitely, uh, you know, uh, take up uh, in the interview, they can ask you any use case, right? So I'm telling you follow my virtual mock interview playlist uh, again, the link and all everything I'll be showing you with respect to the videos. seven, if possible, if you get time, definitely attend, attend my virtual mock interview. Now, when I say attend, attend as a candidate, this virtual in mock interview, I'm all uh, doing along with Sudanshu Kumar, who is the CEO of I knew, and he does take a lot of interviews where he provides you a definitely a different, different use cases. And by following these two steps, you will be pretty much confident. Like suppose if you're asking some questions and just imagine that you will be in front of the interviewer, then will, are you able to answer it? Just try it out. Just try to see it. This too has actually this virtual mock interview playlist has helped everyone guys. There's so many people trust me. Uh, recently there were more than 15 people who had made a transition to data science when I spoke to them. Uh, I just had conversation with 15 people, but there are so many people who have made a transition. I just asked him, what did you follow? They were saying, sir, we've just followed your virtual mock interview, uh, interview playlist. And, uh, uh, you know, by that, most of the questions were getting repeated. And because of that, we got confident. We understood that how we should answer it. So this is the thing that I really want to do. And yes, there was a major concern from many people that they tend to forget things. But trust me, if you're able to implement the projects by using this strategy, by using all the algorithms, by revising all the concepts and all, right? Within four to five days, trust me, you will be able to do, if you do this much guys, it is more than sufficient. Okay. Here, I'm not just talking about ML. I'm also talking about DL. So DL in my DL playlist is also there. In my DL playlist, uh, you'll be just able to revise all the, revise all the basics. When you, I say revise all the basics, your basics needs to be very, very strong guys. I'll just write a star point. Basics needs to be very strong. <clears throat> Forget about everything. Your basics, basics when I say with respect to machine learning algorithm, algorithm maths, probably if I go with deep learning, optimization algorithm, loss function, the activation function, how does neural network work? Because those are the base that is applied in any advanced neural networks. Even right now, whatever the current research is happening is taking place from the researchers. I think they'll be using all these basic concepts. So this is needs to be very, very strong. And if you are able to satisfy, if you are able to give all the answer to the recruiters, trust me, you have the ball in your court. Definitely you'll crack the job. One final thing that I really want to tell you guys, explain, explain the interviewers like a story. Suppose you want to explain your project focus, uh, focus, explain. Uh, I'll just write like explain in a way of life cycle of DS projects. You have to explain in this particular way. Always start first with data gathering from where did you get the data? What are the problems with the data? 
what all things you did in the feature engineering why you did it what are the problems you faced over there go with feature selection go with model creation model deployment uh, hyperparameter tuning retraining approach deployments wherever you did all these things how to revise these concepts trust me whenever you are learning whenever you are learning new things yes you tend to forget it i also tend to forget it guys but yes uh, whenever i see some of the projects then i even check out my own videos to basically revise some of the concepts itself so these are the points guys how to revise concepts and algorithm before data science interview at least take 4 to 5 days focus on the job description because in job description they'll tell you specifically in nlp you have to be good at this logistic regression linear regression xgboost this that everything they'll be providing in the job description focus on all those things make sure that you implement end to end projects uh, by considering all the machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms then you come to a conclusion why did you go ahead with the best machine learning how did you go ahead with that is basically hyperparameter tuning performance metrics follow my virtual mock interview playlist definitely attend my virtual mock interview inter uh, playlist as a candidate because we do invite and uh, trust me guys we are again going to start from the next week uh, the virtual mock interview there we are also giving uh, some kind of uh, prizes if you are able to perform well and those entire prizes will be sponsored by i neuron okay this is what we are planning and probably this will be from monday itself uh, and explain in the way of life cycle of a data science project uh, this is the most important point now if i go back to my playlist so uh, these are the playlist guys all the link will be given in the description this is my complete machine learning playlist here you will be able to see every algorithm is completed like this uh, you have linear regression ridge lasso okay um, then you have multi collinearity uh, then you have uh, logistic then you have decision tree everything is there guys all the algorithm knn uh, ensemble bagging random forest hada boost everything euclidean distance okay db scan dimensional reduction pca nav bias support vector machines gradient boosting xg boost everything is completed guys more than 90% of the algorithm is done you just have to revise the maths over there um then uh, this was it uh, this is my live virtual mock interview session so here you can go and check with respect to date and here is my interview questions playlist which i have specifically created with respect to some of the algorithms like uh, which all uh, like outliers impact which all algorithms so these are some of the common things that interview may focus on and they may ask you yes statistics is also important from all the points guys but remember statistics should also be learnt in a way where you have applied in your data science project they may ask you some simple simple question like normal distribution how do you reduce the outliers what is hypothesis testing what is p test what is t test everything i have already uploaded over here uh, which will be uh, which you will be able to understand in a pretty much better way right so yes this was the thing that i really wanted to focus on and uh, please make sure that uh, you check out all these videos and follow the strategy guys so trust me it will definitely be helpful this is what i found out from the discussion of the people who have made a successful transition recently and yes more than if you just follow the strategy 80% of the people definitely like you will be able to crack the interview so i hope you like this particular video please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one and all bye bye